Welcome! Choosing the right digital audio workstation is crucial for music production success. In this video, we will discuss and compare different DAWs to help you make the informed decision you need from compatibility and user interface to features and pricing. We'll cover it all. Let's find the best DAW for your music production journey. Let's get it started. First, I gotta make sure that everyone understands what a DAW a DAW is. A digital audio workstation is the foundation of music production. It's a software application that allows you to record, edit, arrange and mix music using your computer. So the DAW is essentially the one does it all solution for music producers. You can do everything that is imaginable with a DAW. And in the professional audio workstations that I present to you today, there are no real limitations that could hold you back from unfolding your true potential. Now I like to talk about compatibility. We got three different operating systems, Windows, Linux and OS. FL Studio, Ableton, Cubase and Pro Tools work on Windows and Mac. Logic Pro only works on Mac OS and Reaper works on all three operating systems. The good thing is that each and every DAW works with the same general principle, meaning if you learn one workstation, you can work with the others as well. It just needs some time until you get familiar with the other workstation. Now I will give you an overview to all of the different workstations. Reaper is a versatile digital audio workstation. It is commonly used for heavy duty music production. Mixing, mastering and engineering across various different genres is no problem for it. Reaper provides a customizable user interface and layout, allowing users to personalize their experience. Despite being priced as an intermediate door, Reaper surpasses expectations with its powerful features. It is highly intuitive, smooth and supports complex multi-track functions, making it superior to free software like GarageBand and Audacity, for example. One of its advantages is its lightweight nature, occupying minimal disk space and running smoothly on older CPUs make it a suitable choice for users with older PCs. However, Reaper has fewer built-in plugins and a smaller library compared to more expensive doors. And as users delve deeper into music production, they can invest in third-party plugins to expand their capabilities. FL Studio is another really great one. I am currently using FL Studio and I'm really happy with it. FL Studio is gaining traction due to its increasing versatility. Standout feature of FL Studio is its step sequencer, which simplifies beat creation and streamlines the process of structuring a song. The software offers a vast library of synths and plugins suitable for various electronic genres. Its user-friendly interface makes it accessible even for those with limited knowledge of music theory, enabling them to create music and learn simultaneously. FS Studio is an excellent program for producers of all skill levels, particularly beginners. What needs to be considered when learning a DAW is the amount of knowledge that is floating around the internet. In this case, FS Studio has just tons of informative content spread it across the internet and quite a large community. If you want to learn FS Studio as a beginner, I've made a complete course from beginner to expert learning everything you need to know in just 12 comprehensive lessons. In this course we are creating a complete track and after taking part, you exactly know how to maneuver this software efficiently. Logic Pro is considered to be one of the best value for money digital audio workstations, surpassing GarageBand in complexity, functionality and power. With a highly praised workflow and unique features like tempo match and complex VSTs or in other words plugins, Logic Pro is a strong contender for being one of the best all-around DAW software options. One of the program's major strengths is its versatility across genres. While it excels in electronic production, it is also well suited for rock, pop, folk and even jazz. Logic Pro X caters to a wide range of musical styles without favoring or limiting any particular genre. However, the main drawback of Logic Pro X is that it's exclusive to Mac users only. Ableton Live is another really popular workstation, particularly among electronic, pop and rock producers. It gained recognition nearly 20 years ago as one of the first programs designed for live performances, offering unprecedented flexibility and accessibility to electronic producers. In terms of music production, Ableton Live is on par with the other one, in terms of power and functionality. It boasts an attractive and fast workflow. The software's intuitive nature makes it easy to grasp and use effectively. While it is predominantly used by electronic producers, it proved to be just as effective for creating any other genre. 
Additionally, it can be utilized for non-music applications like podcast editing, for example. A notable drawback of Ableton Live is its resource-intensive nature compared to earlier programs. It required a relatively powerful computer setup, especially for Mac users who have limited hardware customization options. However, if your computer meets the requirements, Ableton Live is an excellent, if not one of the best choices for anyone interested in producing or editing audio. Pro Tools is known for its power and is particularly suitable for handling large-scale projects. While other software also offer similar capabilities, Pro Tools has maintained its status as the go-to choice for a lot of professional individuals across various genres. Like Ableton, Pro Tools requires a relatively powerful computer setup to run smoothly, avoiding issues such as freezing, crashing and latency. However, when working with audio at an intermediate or advanced level, a strong computer is generally necessary as you are loading in so many plugins and different applications that just makes the CPU or GPU work much harder. So just like all the other ones I mentioned before, Pro Tools just has everything you need, you can produce every genre. So all of the DAWs that I talked about can essentially achieve the same result. It is all about you learning the software and getting really familiar over time with it. And last but not least we have Cubase. Cubase has all of the functions that all of the other workstations have as well and it's known for its comprehensive feature set, professional audio quality and powerful MIDI capabilities. It offers a traditional recording and editing workflow making it a preferred choice for MIDI based music production. Its user interface and session layouts are really good, helping inexperienced producers to get their projects together and create a well polished professional sounding track. There are even several versions of Cubase, each of which is targeted to different users. For example, you are a producer looking to write and edit tracks, then Cubase Artist may be the best option for you. What about cross-platform workflows? Producers can work cross-platform with other DAWs. While each DAW has its own unique file format and specific features, it is generally possible to exchange audio files, MIDI data and project files between different DAWs. This allows collaboration and sharing of projects across all platforms. What about the pricing? So the pricing is an important question for a lot of people and it is always an important question for me as well. But when it comes to making music, you can start out for free on a lot of these softwares. Head over to the website and just see if they offer a trial version. I'll put a link in the description for the FL Studio trial version, which is completely free and has no expiring date. You're just limited in some functions. Alright, that's it for this video, I hope you gained some new information and please leave a like, please leave some feedback because these videos are quite taking some time. All of the research and cutting is just taking some time, so I would be super happy if you just leave some feedback. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.